I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll consider an application question based on exponential functions. Normally, IB SL Math students are doing similar kind of questions in grade 11. You can always pause my video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. The question here is, the current flowing in an electrical circuit T seconds after it is switched off is given by I of T equals to 25 e to the power of minus 0 0.15 t amperes. Based on this, there are four questions. Question number one, find the initial current. Question number two, find the current in the circuit after one second and after 10 seconds. How long will it take the current to fall to one amperes? Sketch the graph of the function i of t. It is a complete question which kind of helps you to review the concepts learned on how do we solve word problems related with exponential functions. Now, initial current really means that T is zero, correct. So just substitute zero here, get the answer for question number two. You have to substitute one and 10 for T and then get the answer but well, question number three is slightly tricky. It says, how long will it take the current to fall to one ampere? We'll actually try to understand this part of the problem in greater details. You could adopt two methods here. One is you can use graph, graphing calculator. Or you can use the logarithmic function ln. As you know, ln e to the power of x is equals to x times ln e, right? And ln e is 1. ln e is 1, right? So, which is equal to x. So, if you use natural log, it becomes a simpler question. So, I hope that helps you to understand how you can find solution for question number 3. And question number four is putting all these things together to sketch a graph. Perfect. Now I think the concepts are absolutely clear. So you can pause the video finally, answer these questions, and then check with my solutions. Clear? So I'll give you a second to work on your problems, and then let's get back to the solution. Okay. So there we go. We have our questions here. So for question number one, as I said, we have to just substitute t equals to zero. So we have i of zero is equal to 25 e to the power of minus zero, which is one. So which is 25 and the current units is amperes. So I'm writing capital A for amperes. Perfect. So that is how we can do it. Now, for part question number two, one second and ten seconds, what should we do? Well, we have to substitute one second here. So let me write down here that the current remaining in the circuit after one second will be 25 e to the power of minus 0 0.15. See, t is 1, correct? So just 0 0.15. Let's calculate this value. So, 25 exponent e 
you can find always on the calculator and then use that with exponent within brackets you should write minus 0 0.15 and there you go is equals to 21.51 so i got 21.51 i'm writing rounding it to 21.5 amperes right okay now the current after 10 seconds remaining in the circuit will be even lesser so let's calculate this e to the power of minus 0 0.15 times 10 which of course is 25 times e to the power of minus uh, 10 times this will be 1.5 correct so we'll change the exponent part from minus uh, 0 0.25 to 1.5. Okay, and then what do we get? We get around 5.5. So what I got is 5.5 amperes. So that's what we get. And now we'll need to find out what is the now we'll try to answer question number three so how long will it take for current to fall to one amperes right so this is still five amperes right so it has to go further down okay so it has to be more than 10 seconds let's try to answer this question so so now we are saying we want the final to be 1 ampere and figure out the time. So we can rewrite this equation, which is I of t equals to 25 e to the power of minus 0 0.15 t. So we want the current to be 1 ampere. So 1 into 25 e to the power of minus 0 0.15 t. Dividing by 25, we get e to the power of minus 0 0.15 t and now we can take natural log both sides so ln 1 over 25 is equal to minus 0 0.15 t times ln e which is 1 right so let me write ln e and then i'm going to reorganize this so we get ln 1 over 25 equals to minus 0 0.15 t right so from here we can find the time t equals to minus ln 1 over 25 divided by 0 0.15 perfect so let's use the calculator so we have natural law uh, within brackets i'm writing 1 divided by 25 i say equals to and then i divide by 0 0.15 and multiply this by a negative sign so it gives me 21.459 correct so we can say approximately equal to 21.5 seconds perfect so we got our answer which is 21.5 seconds perfect so i hope these steps are absolutely clear so the strategy here is to take logs both sides right So, natural laws, which is ln, right, both sides. And that helps you to solve this particular question. Perfect. Now, some of you can also use the graphing calculator. Check their answer. So, we get 21.5 seconds for 1 ampere. Okay. Finally, the last question here is to sketch the graph of the function. We already have some values, right? So, I0 to begin with is 25. We calculated the value after 1 second. We calculated the value after 10 seconds. And we also found that uh, the value after, uh, let me just check, uh, 21.5 was 1 ampere, correct? So, let's check the other values which we calculated. 
uh, we had 5.5 amperes at 10. And uh, after one second, it was 21.5. Correct. So, here we have a graph. Uh, we have to write the time t in seconds on the scale and amperes the current i in amperes along the y axis. So, let us plot these points which are known to us. We know it is an exponential decay function, right? So, the nature of the graph is going to be like this, correct? Now, to begin with, Initially, it is 25. I have chosen the scale. So, so 2.5, 2.5, 25 will be here, okay, right on the top. And after 1, it is uh, 21.5. So, okay, after 10, it is 5.5. So, 10, 5.5. So, so midway, right? And 1 ampere at 21.5. So, 1 is here, uh, 21.5. So, kind of. Do you see that? So, we get these points and clearly they indicate exponential decay of current starting with 25. We can connect these points, right? So, that is how you can connect these points with a smooth curve which looks something like this, right? So, that is your graph. You can see I am just drawing with a okay, so bottom line. So, that is how it is going to be. I hope it makes sense. So, you could actually check your graph with the graphing calculator. It is kind of important to mark the points which we have calculated and that should help you to really uh, get the perfect solution, right? So, once again, there you go. Right? So, the dark line which I have sketched now represents our graph. So, I hope it is absolutely clear. So, in this particular question, as we can go about, we know t equals to 0 means initial, right? And another important thing which we learn is how to use natural log, right? Which basically is log to the base E, right, of x ln to calculate the value for time when the amperes flowing in the circuit was 1 ampere. So, and then finally, we got a graph which looked like kind of like this. Make sense, right? So, so that is how we actually summarize this particular problem. Well, I hope you understand all these concepts. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thank you and all the best.